what can I say? It's something wrong with this anime. No, but seriously, it just never really hits on a good notion, right? So, the first beginning episode works fine. Like, they're fighting while it's camping. Kafka, right? Get some tension there. Pretty cool fight. Of course, we know that likely no one's going to hurt or whatever. But still, like, it's fine. You know? It's a typical, like, you know, misunderstanding of who's the bad leader, right? Fine. They will end up, you know, bros in the end, right? You know? Um... Then what happens? Like honestly, what happens after the initial fight? I think this anime is incredibly badly paced. Uh, like it, like it's just. I think it's really bad. Seriously, I think this is definitely bad, man. It dropped. I'm dropping it. It's really bad. I think. I genuinely, this is a bad anime, right? So I'm gonna show you here, guys, with reaction. But I said immediately, I think the anime is terrible in so many ways. It's not the worst anime ever. It's not the worst, but it's super mid. It feels like. I'm watching any basic, you know, shonen anime with no redeeming qualities except the music, which is really good. The music is great, this anime, absolutely. But this, first of all, the storyline is just really slow. The pacing is terrible. Like, this episode here, basically what happens, right, is that they have this, like, the first scene, show here, beginning, the next part, and then, I don't know, the ending when a new Kadu appears. In between that, it's like some very mid jokes. I think one, honestly, one is just immediately is that this anime is really boring when it comes to the yoke department. I think the anime has re actually quite really weak yokes. Right? Kafka isn't very funny. He's not a very good main character because of the comedy of it. Uh, you know, we got the blonde Sundar one. It's blonde, you know, Noel and Kafka's reaction there. It's not as funny as Bacasta. Not as good. She's, she's. I mean, absolutely. I like Sundar characters, and I don't hate her or anything, but she's pretty meh. For a Sundra. I've seen a lot of better Sundras than her. She's like not even top 10 Sundra, right? So, not very good. His friends are kind of whatever. I don't really care about that as a team. Like, the characters around them are not really interesting so far. Uh, and they don't really care about anyone who died or whatever. But it's just like, I think that's a big issue. Because most steps are here. It's basically a comedy intermediate part, right? Between the first fight and the new Kadu appearing. Everything in between basically is comedy. But it's not that funny. This anime just isn't that funny. Like, I'm not laughing at it, I'm not enjoying Kafka that much, right? There's some tension in the end when he's training as opposed to playing Kafka. But it's just like, I think the biggest issue is that it's not that funny, right? Because it, it, it tries to be a very common, you know, shonen action comedy thing, right? Like One Piece or, you know, Bleach or Naruto or whatever, right? But I'm not laughing that much about it. It just isn't that funny. The characters aren't that likable. And the character design is also kind of being a meh, right? Because they always look like normal human with different hair colors, basically. So... So it's not really pulling you in there either. Everything seems kind of very mid, very mid. But anyway, here's the reaction part, guys. Uh, it's gonna fight Captain Nu. It's gonna sound, what do you think? There we go. Yeah. Oh, the captain, man. Always been after Kafka for since day one, man. So clearly. Yeah. Can't just uh, punch him in the stomach, but I was like, no, I'm gonna kill him. Can't just punch my captain, Sean. He owns him, though. And you can't uh, underestimate cool captain, dude. Cap the captain's pretty good idiot, guys. You can't just destroy captain, bro. And the problem is, captain can't like fight back because he wants to hurt him, right? So, so he's gonna get owned. Yeah, like it's hard for him to actually confront this, right? Like he doesn't want to hurt. Ma I indeed. I don't know, can you escape him? Can you like, jump in fast or that? Can... I feel like he's way faster if you just run away from him. Like you just run, you know, jump super high and run away. Superman style, yeah, this is old Superman style when he was just jumping, you know. Here we go, the captain is. What is shooting too? Okay, he can like shoot some energy attack, of course. Oh, his leg. But I don't know, he can probably reload it though. Shigao indeed. Man, the captain is owning him. <laughs> Vice captain is owning him. Let's be honest, he's getting owned by Vice Captain. Now though, he blocked the blade though with his hand. Kinda. What? Was he finding a punch back? I oh, breaks the blade though. Okay. Ah, right. does he know? He's like, he got away. But I really Kafka. I don't know. It's all been, you know, he calls Captain now, Mina Shan, but. It does feel like he kinda knows. He's always been like, oh, a little Sundershan on top of her. I mean, I've seen her with the axe, right? I've seen her, oh, oh, I'm waiting for her to get the giant axe that we see, her, that we see in the ending or something. I want her to get that gigantic two-handed broad axe thing. 
And, you know, because we saw this episode, she was cutting down a cardi, right? Last episode with, like, some kind of, um, I don't know, um, a street sign or something. So, she kind of... Uh, she kind of wants that melee weapon, right? Like some kind of massive giant swing. And now he's back like, Hey girl! Nothing happened! Tadaima! Oh, Kafka shine! And your eyes like, Hey! <laughs> it's something like I love you, Redding! Yeah! Baka! Baka! He only has one leg, I guess. No, okay. It regrew on him, okay. Yeah. Or she got you, Kafka Shan. No such. So I'm a bet so you know. Looks like a lucky reality, Kafka. Yeah. And she's cute as Sundra. It's just Blonde Noel. Yeah, and now she's like Shimpai. Now Sai. Baka. Bye, Kafka. Yeah. Baka, baka, baka. I mean, seriously, she's just Noel all the time. But yeah. I mean, I like Sundra. Don't get me wrong. I like Sundra. But <laughs> it's like, yeah, she's a Sundra. That's her character. She's Sundra. Here we go. It's like human looking Kadyu. Yeah, they're like Kafka Shan. Uh, or the Mental Course, all the guys. See him here now, yeah. Or the Mental Number 9, I suppose. Also possible. It might be Number 9, the Mental, but who knows? Oh, uh, so he hit by a truck or something? Hmm, might be his ally, though. No, I guess he's some random dude, I guess. He's some random dude. He's gonna die, of course, now. Yeah, yeah, obviously, it's poor guy. He's like, uh oh. But he can't do it. <laughs> it's out of power or something? Well, okay, he has a limit though to his powers. He's gonna steal the car, I guess. What's <laughs> happening? Okay, now I thought it was. That's a weird scene. He's like, trying to sh he couldn't do it, but he can transform. He can go and take a titan on him. Yeah, he could like eat him like a titan, but he couldn't shoot him, okay? That's like a very weird scene. Why would he be limited to. Maybe we change his body now if he eats him. Ah, I call it. Yeah, he turns into him now. Okay, that's how he. Okay, yeah. I call it, he treated him now. That's how Kali number 9 works, okay. So he doesn't look like that blonde guy, like the new cleaner. No, he's actually is. So now he turned into the car driver, right? Yeah, yeah. So he can eat any human and turn into them. I see. He's shifting like that, yeah. Hmm. So, the, what we see is probably not his real form then. The card number that we see the cleaner guy is maybe not his original human form then, right? Just the latest person he uh, ate, I guess, to turned into. No, of course, Kohai Shan is also fine. Yeah, he's fine. Aibo Shan. His plot armor is massive for him, of course. He's the army. Yeah, <laughs> he's the plot armor. But seriously, his plot armor is massive, right? He's like, you won't hurt at him. He's like, I'm fine, dude. He's fine too? I said last week, yeah. It's... Osan! Oh, yeah! I'm gonna be awesome, I see your life! Hey, Osan! He's like, Argh. but. Yeah, the plot armor is pretty high, seriously. Why didn't he die either? They get shot like 55 times a time, so they're both fine. Man, you know, he's smooth. He's like, I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear anything. He's like, I didn't hear any dirty secrets. I'm just here for the bathroom break. Yeah, like, good, good bro, man. That's a bro, man. It's like, yeah, the bro mode. Bathroom break, eh? Yet again, Vice Captain is like, I think I fought you, Kafka Shan. Says Osa passes. Captain Shan finally promotes him. Finally, after all these years, he gets promoted. He finally has to smash his waifu. He's finally one step closer to her. Uh, mm -mm -mm. It's gonna be awkward as always. No, I actually meant to leave without being awkward. Oh, she's gonna be awkward. Said. She's gonna be like, yeah, that's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna be awkward and be like, yeah, I'm impressed by you, Kafka. She's gonna be the one getting awkward about this thing. Yes. I remember our memory. Of course she does. Her whole life. Yeah. And now he's like, yeah, that's right, girl. Yeah. I'm just joking. Yeah, that's good. She's like, <laughs> gonna play it cool. Okay, but that's. That's good. Gonna burn him a bit there. I mean, they, they obviously love each other. It's obviously her main. His, she obviously is in love with him since they were kids. Come on. I mean, it's so obvious she was like she liked him when they were young, and now she wants to, you know, marry him or whatever. Now the adults. I mean, clearly she's like, get stronger and marry me. It's clear. Oh, what happened now? It's another monster. 
What's happening? It's, uh... Not a twist. It's obviously Vice Captain training. He's uh, pissed off. He's training his uh, super blade technique. He's the Levi. It's obviously Levi. It's out there training. And image is Kafka. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> it's like, oh no! It's imaging me! <laughs> it's my my physique, yeah. Like, uh oh. Yeah, I'm the enemy. Exactly. Think about me. Uh oh, spaghetti o mm. Kafka Sean. Yeah, what are you doing here? He's like, yeah. Yeah. That's right, I got some new blades last week, Kafka! It's like, oh, okay. As to train him, he said. He's like, Gumbery must, Captain. It should be like, train me. <laughs> you should have asked him to be like, teach me your moves. <laughs> yeah, come on. You should have asked him to like, can I please teach me your martial art technique? Yeah, you should have asked him to be his disciple, he said. Like, teach me your specials. Be way better. Oh, he was not a flying, a flying uh, cadu. Okay, a red one. It's like blood red. You'll see the next one, number ten, number eleven, something. So that's the reaction, right? And like I said, I think the anime is just uh, it's fairly mid, right? It's fairly mid. I've been saying for a few weeks, so I'm not like breaking record here. I said earlier this morning that I was probably not even gonna do this reaction review. So I felt that the anime is just trading poorly and it just doesn't really, I don't even care right, since it's earlier. I mean, obviously, my biggest complaint immediately is that it's very, very, very similar to My Academia in the beginning, right? I mean, it, as I said earlier, episode 4 is basically a copy of My Academia, right? Like, frame by frame, exact same scene, uh, the main character saving the cute girl by punching the monster. I mean, it's, it's almost literally almost exactly like the episode of My Academia. Episode 3 and 4. Like, it's ridiculous. It's similar, right? And I've been thinking about this anime for a bit. I've talked to a co worker about this one. That's it as well, right? And I think everyone can agree. It's my office now, but I agree with people talk about in real life. Is that this anime just isn't that good because it basically, it basically, so far, it's just, you know, retargeting, right? It's just redoing tropes, you know? So that makes it, first of all, very predictable. So far, every trope you've seen before. It's nothing is new so far. Is there like the academia saving the girl, the, that guy being that, you know, the you know the misunderstanding between him and the captain, yada yada, yada something like that. Uh, you know, his friend getting shot or something like that. All the tropes are there, so it's very, very tropey. But it doesn't do anything better, right? It's a massive issue, right? So it's very, very tropey anime, incredibly tropey, yet it doesn't improve so far on a single trope. And episode one, I was fine with it. Episode two, I was fine with it. Episode four, I wasn't fine with that. That was like way too similar to academia. Straight up stealing Bohemia, but whatever. Episode 5, I was like, okay, now I'm starting to not be fine anymore by you just like, re you know, reducing the same old tropes over and over again. You have to do it better, or at least something unique, right? Nothing here is unique. It's just like a mid version of stuff I've seen before. It was a point then, right? because it, it's getting kind of boring. Where you, can, you can guess everything so far, like almost, almost 100%. Almost every episode is like incredibly the ball, nothing is new. And it's not better done. The only thing that stood out for me so far is the music. The anime got great music, great soundtrack, great fight soundtrack, right? Um, I'm really struggling to see when this anime has become the next shonen, right? When it's gonna you know, make something new and better and different. Maybe the next bad guy or whatever. But it seems to be just like very, very similar to My Academia, Slash, of course, Second Titan. Merge those two together and nothing new whatsoever. But I think, again, that's a bigger issue, but that's a big issue. But like I said earlier too, it's a mixture of having this like really you know predictable, not standing out storyline or whatever, but also then having really boring characters. Right? Yeah, like I said earlier, also having these like very mid uh, characters, where oh yeah, like I said, I think I think honestly the Sundra is a sample of it, because she's Sundra, but she's more you know like she's less extreme. Like her yoga doesn't make any sense, right? You know, not, nothing really works. There. It's like yeah, she's Sundra. She's kind of funny. I have seen at least 10 other Sundras which are way better. And obviously Noelle is the most similar sample to her, right? Very, very similar character. They look almost like the same as the one, yeah. 
very similar character, very similar interaction with the main character, right? Her and Noelle are almost, she feels like she's it's Noelle, right? With the blonde hair. Uh, but Noelle is way funnier. Noelle's, Noelle's body language is funnier. Her voice actor is better. Her, her, I know it's a cliche thing as well, right? But Noelle, you know, what does she do? What's she <laughs> that Her, like, hair flip is done more in a fun, in comedic way. Like, it just works way better. But it's so similar. But she's, again, that's what I mean. She's just like a worse Noelle, you know. Blonde Noelle is just a weak Noelle, right? Doesn't have to be like that. There's so many other animes or games or whatever, right? Where I watch the anime and I'm like, oh yeah, this is similar to this anime, but it's better, right? Or not everything is better, but that thing is better, or this character is better, right? It improves on certain stuff, right? This anime is like so far. It doesn't improve on anything. It's just like super tropey and nothing is better than what I've seen before. Everything is just worse, right? But again, it doesn't mean the anime is terrible. It just feels so incredibly mid and it's kind of boring because it's like, it would be more entertaining if it was really bad, right? So you can laugh at it. Like, you know, King's Ranking bad. That, whatever, the King's Game, yeah. So it's like super bad. Uh, so you can air monster at this season. You can laugh at it if it's so bad. But it's not it's very, or truly, the mid of mid shows. Because you're like, oh, this is just worse than like every other show than anime, basically. Uh, <laughs> right? It's just like, the popular, yeah, it's just worse than the bigger ones. But it, it's not, like, you know what I mean? Like, it, this is not the worst show than anime. But it's just worse than all the good ones, right? So if you have like 30 great shonen animes, this is like number 31, right? And then you have 30 bad ones. This is this mid of the mist. This is the most mid of mid thing ever, yeah. Nothing here is new. Everything is just tropes and reuse tropes. And every tropes I've seen been done better than all the animes. They're all seen them done worse, right? So it truly is the most mid of mid shows for everything. It's just kind of like, nah, I guess it's okay, <laughs> right? So, I'm dropping it, maybe I'll come back in a few weeks, but honestly, I'm surprised I didn't watch this episode, honestly. I was like, what, what am I doing with my life? Why am I watching this episode? I didn't, it, it, again, but the thing is, this is what I mean. I don't even hate this anime. I was like, I hate it, I don't hate it, just super duper mid. I don't even hate it, I'm just like, I guess I can't watch it. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like, I don't really, I don't, really, I, don't, I, don't like, I don't want to watch it. It's more like, oh, I guess I can do it, right? It's kind of that feeling, right? And I, and I keep saying already episode 4 or 3, I think, when I said, I don't, I like the anime. But I don't love it, right? I like it, but I don't love it. Yeah, it's just like I see it all better. I see it all worse too. It's truly, truly the most mid of mid shows. And yes, the video subscribe and have a great day.